Hey there, this is KT Bradford with Laptop Magazine, and today we are taking a look at the Lenovo U1 Hybrid. I've been looking forward to seeing this product for a year now because it was first shown to us last year at CES, and this year at CES, it has come back with a few changes, and now we're going to get to see this in the U.S., so I'm very, very excited. Um, one of the things that we love about the Hybrid is that it is two machines in one. The screen up here is actually not just a display, this is a tablet. And when it's attached to the base here, it's running Windows. But I'm going to have my assistant here detach it and show you how fast it switches, it's instant, switches to Android. Now, even though this looks like the skylight um, that we saw last year, this is actually a UI over Android. So it has the same look, but now it's it's got Android 2.2, I think, running on it right now. When it comes out in the U.S., this is going to be running Honeycomb. So check this out. You know, we've got smooth video, really nice colors, you know, 10.1-inch uh, display. So you're going to be able to, you know, do everything that you want to do on an Android tablet, watch video, surf the web, all that. It's actually pretty light, too. Um... And one of the things we really like about the design here is this button. So normally, Android has four buttons, either capacitive or physical, uh, home, back, search, and menu. Right here, we have just one button. So when you tap it, it goes to home. But if you swipe up, it does the menu function. And if you swipe down, it does the back function. So we like that. You know, it's, it makes the design a little simpler, makes it a little iPad-esque, but it does still keep the functionality of Android, which everybody's come to ter like, depend on. So we really like that. So let's uh, put it back into Windows mode just so we can see, first of all, again, how fast it switches. Come on now. There we go. And there we go, you're right back to Windows. Another thing that um, we like about this that we saw last year's persistence. So, you know, if you open up a web page in, on the Windows side and then you switch to the Android side, you're going to be able to see those same web pages um, synced up so that you don't have to lose your work whether you're switching to Windows or Android. The other thing is, like, since, you know, this right here is a separate computer from what is in the slate part, so you can actually hook this up to, say, an, uh, the HDMI to another display and use this separately while you're running around with your tablet or say, you know, one person is working on, you know, some Word document or whatever and somebody else is running around watching videos with the tablet. So we like that. Um, we love the updated keyboard. Uh, this keyboard is very similar to what we've seen on the Lenovo ThinkPad side. And so you've got, you know, the island style, but with this with the shape and the nice dip in the middle. We're going to see a lot of these keyboards on the IdeaPad side. Um, and this textured wrist rest area here. It's not too heavy, and uh, we're looking at probably... How, how heavy is this? Uh, this is right around four pounds. Right around four pounds. So, again, it's a little heavier than a netbook because it is netbook size, but, again, you're getting two machines in one. So uh, this the base part might stay at home while you take the tablet out every day, and then when you come home, you sync them up. So let's take a look here. The sides. <coughs> got a USB port over here. And I love, like, the nice shape going on here. It makes it, like, really nice to carry and hold. And one more USB over here. And let's give you a little tour of the slate part. You pop that out again. Okay, so you have the docking connector, headphone. Let me show you the back real quick because uh, there are speakers in the back so you can listen to music while it's docked or when it's not. You've got a power button, volume control, uh, accelerometer control over here, and uh, smooth the rest of the way around. And again, uh, and, and we got a camera going on up here. How many megapixels is that? Um, that's a very good question. Two megapixel camera. The two megapixel camera. So again, really liking this design. It's nice and clean. 
Um, this part isn't too heavy as well. Um, it's a little lighter than an iPad, it feels like, although I don't have them in my hands to compare them right at this moment. But that's uh, sort of what it feels like. Now, are we going to be able to have different colors for uh, the, the holder back here? Uh, the intent at this point is to have red only. Um, okay. We'll see over time if there's market demand for that, but uh, no. Okay, so if you got to like red. <laughs> can, we, can we see a little of the, of the custom UI? <clears throat> sure. Actually, let's put it back. Here you put it back. Okay. Uh, by the custom UI, do you mean the Android version? The, the Android version. Oh, okay, the yeah. Android version. So you've got a couple of things going on here. For example, uh, again, this is a slider-type interface. You can see that in this uh, four-pane, you've got your Windows available here. You've got your e-books available on this side here. Uh, you've got your pictures and your different apps available here. So, for example, just like a standard uh, system, you can bring up your browser, uh, be able to surf the web like you would normally expect. Uh, I believe we've got a connection here, and it's loading a page. Uh, again, you're, if you're web browsing, you'll be able to go back. You'll be able to also hit the home button just like a standard PC. Uh, and then, for example, here, music playing. Literally, I just hit the music I want to listen to. Uh, I can go back to choose different uh, album art. If I want to listen to that, for example, all my music, again, here, it's designed to be very, very intuitive, very easy to access. Um, oh. Uh, then, of course, we've got the standard uh, Android interface, and it's got the different uh, flick gestures, et cetera, built in. Um, since this is uh, announcing in China at first, obviously this is a Chinese preload. Right. Um, I don't know what most of these apps are. I don't read Chinese. <laughs> but, you know, we all know Angry Birds. So oh, yeah. we got to – let's see how Angry Birds works. Uh, it works quite well. Uh, we were playing it earlier. I uh, had a very nice time. What's nice about this is it's got a very big screen. So. Yeah, I did pretty well with that one. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously a very, very addicting game, a must-have. And then again, to go back to home, uh, I could just hit this, and I've got back to my standard interface. Great. And uh, users are going to be able to, to sideload apps in the standard way uh, on this, and then Lenovo is also going to have an app store in China. And uh, what are you guys going to do for America? Have you... Uh, we've not yet determined that. Okay. So so hopefully it'll, you know, there might be some GetJar action. There might be some Android market action. Not sure yet, but you'll definitely be able to sideload the apps that you like, and, and we have some instructions on our website that you can do that. So this uh, looks like, you know, sort of uh, uh, a person's dream who wants both productivity, they want the Windows experience, they also want the Android experience. You get it both in this one package, and we're really excited to see this come out. And so uh, it's going to be out in China in the, the first, first quarter, quarter of this year, and uh, when uh, Honeycomb is ready on the Android side, then that's when it will show up in the U.S. So I guess if you want this product, you got to go beat down Google's door. <laughs> So this has been KT Bradford with Laptop Magazine checking out the Lenovo IdeaPad U1 Hybrid.